Um, this video I'm going to address is that um, when you get the new quadcopters, um, sometimes when you start it up, um, not all four motors spin at the same times. As you can see right now, if I go up a little bit on, on my throttle, the two top motor goes slower than the other two to start up. That's, that's real normal behavior on the quadcopters because uh, when you apply real small power uh, uh, voltage to the speed control, it actually only able to supply uh, enough for one or two motors. So it, as, uh, as long as you keep on going up on your throttle, all four of the motors should spin uh, um, at the same time uh, afterwards. Now this is applying for only for a new quadcopters. If you crash it, uh, there might be a different story because sometimes when you crash it, you might burn up a speed control and then your motor might not even spin or maybe keep on just, just going uh, back and forth. Um, that's if you do have some crashes. Again, look at this. I, uh, I put the throttle up just a little bit, about maybe uh, one sixteenth of an inch, and you can see it doesn't move all four motors at the same time. But if I go up a little higher, and it, it begins to go all four motors at the same time. And they are, they are, they are normal uh, to start with something like this. And you can see it can fly normally. So if I land it, I can uh, show you one more time about how the motors are. Uh, so again, when you when you start up on a new quadcopters, uh, when you start up slowly, a lot of people do slowly uh, start up. You can see one of the motor is not spinning at the same time as the other three, or um, two of the motor doesn't spin at the same time as the other three. That's very normal behavior.